Middle East. Hello, how you doing? I see a call here to give you a call. What's your looking for? Part days ago, I was in the shop and I'm in here on the ground now looking out and we're just going ready to share the link now for Shane and the boys. So we'll have that shared for me in the next five minutes. Very high quality. Alright, alright, cheers. Where are you? No bother, uh, we thought you were going back in there. Yeah. They're all after dropping the flag there now. They had to drop the flag. Uh, they dropped the flag now at half past. A big house party on in Australia. Oh, a lot depending on. It. Oh yeah. Pat Murphy said he thinks that TG Car are alive next week. Oh, the mice. That's a pity now because I was going to go live. I I, I don't know. I have to see. Can I find out from the access? Are the sharing is there now, Jimmy. All right. The sharing is. I'm going to share it now in the next couple of minutes. We're going right. high quality. What's the Will, will a lad need exceptional internet to watch it? No, with YouTube it will drop back. It, it, YouTube does regulate itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Sort of yeah. Drops the definition. Um, I'm putting this up, but unbelievable. Are you putting it on Facebook now or going straight to YouTube? I'm going. Well, no, it's, uh, YouTube is safer because. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. I'm going to send you the link now. YouTube is great. I'm going to turn off sound because I tell you we don't want at the moment
No, like if you're holding it, sort of that, or if it's getting really loud, go up right. there. You know what I mean? Like? I just want to do it. Are, are the two of you doing it or one yeah, of you? There's three of us here. Three of us. So, so I'll be, be doing it and give it a bite. But I was just wondering there, there's, there's a bit of a, uh, we have a man ahead there, so there's a uh, follow on the stairs, and the PA, there's something, something over the PA. Will I talk over that? Because I want to hear it. No, the good ear. The good ear. Yeah, very good. Get you the lift now next day. One, two, one, two, testing one, two, three, testing one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Testing. Come in, Australia, come in, Australia. How are you, Shane? We're ready to go live now, Shane, Ferdy and the boys. Hope Jigger's up in Boston. Danny in London. One, two, one, two, one, two.
Getting very close to the kickoff time here now. Uh, four minutes to go. Hello to Fidel Men London, Murren. Jamie in Dublin, I see he has a cast off to the TV, widescreen. Matty Ford lining out number 11 for uh, Kyle Nair and Tara Rock. So I uh, thought he was nearly finished by now, but he's going to give us a bit of bother today, I suppose, as usual. Very strong wind coming down the field from the Clannard goal end into the town end. So be ready for hassle. Both teams are in a huddle. We're going to have a moment silence as well for the late John Slevin who passed away this morning. Our commentators are on the way up here now. Welcome to Wexford Park for the uh, intermediate football uh, final 2017. We're now observing a minute of silence for Ender uh, Slevin's father, John. And the stall word of the club. And John died this morning.
We know Stan, get ready for the national anthem. <laughs> Kelly here on the, on the mic and the co-commentator is John Byrne. Uh, John Byrne, uh, a cameraman or statsman, whatever you want. And we're ready for action. And the wind is blowing from from the Clonard end. Flag at half mass for John Slevin. And um, Buntlody play with the wind in the first half. Good day uh, for football, good, good day for the slight breeze. Might be just a bit awkward, but uh, we can't complain. Uh, the referee is uh, Kevin Carty of the Sirefields. And we make a stop to get back senior for the to win here today. After um, going down in 08 to our great rivals, the Duffy Rovers, and losing in 10, in the final in 10 to Ross Lair, and the final in 13 to the Martins after the replay. So we're, this is our big chance to get back up to the top again. Kevin Carty throws in the ball. Kyle breaks the ball down well. Well won by Aidan Noel. Parted out to Sean Kennish. He's a long ball down the field, out over the line the far side. Uh, uh, going too hard there for Peter Axon. Kyle Learn take the line ball just inside their own 14 uh, yard line. Controdi, Mark and Titan making it awkward as again for him. Change of plan. What's going on now? Throwing ball there for some reason on the 21 yard line. And it breaks down. So Sean Kenny puts a great ball across the ground. Peter Axon is up. Peter grabs it. Don't throw. What? Kyle Learn get it toe and get it out. Danger there for Kyle Learn. Away they come. On the 25 yards out from the goal. One hand pass, two hand passes. Going along the 50 yard line, but Lodi putting the pressure on him. And Kyle Nearn make it out as far as the midfield. Corner back on the ball, the wing back on the ball. Midfield on the ball. Everyone back only two forward, forward. And Number 15 going through with the ball, and he gives a great ball inside. Danger here, and a great save by John Axon. The captain, John Axon, saves the day there. Well back, Pat Cavanagh come out to close the gap and John Axe made a great save. What do you think of that, John? Great save, great, great save. Great save, right, great position. Mark Sheen coming up the field. The oldest, the oldest man on the Montori team. Gives it out to Colin Farrell. A great ball into Peter Axe. And Peter is ever out to win and wins a great ball. He's out 45 yards out in the goal. Has a peep. Takes a pot shot. Just a bit, just a bit short. And Kyle Nearn come away with the ball again. Bit of a let off there for one glory. Kyle Nearn. Play it slow up the field again. That loose man seems to be on the far side there on a regular basis. Colin Farrell going over to take him up. Colin Farrell holding him up. Colin Farrell putting him under awful pressure. Kevin Carty deems it a free. Pick free. Kyle Nearn on the ball again. 70 yards off the Buntlody goal. John Axon deemed foul. John Axon, the man is slightly slapping the gob there. Kevin Carty pointing the finger at him. Nothing too serious. Kyle Nearn a great ball across the square, head aimed towards Mahi Ford. Mahi Ford is marked by Martin O'Connell. Mahi B passes it out to number 17, who is uh, Mark Gittens, and Mark uh, hits the wide. First wide of the game, and uh, Patrick Cavanaugh with the kick out. Kyle Nearn has 
spreading the house well. Yeah, she's well spread, well spread out, which the the which might throw her lads were hoping with the with the youth and a bit yeah, of pace. Pat Kevin gets a great kick out. Lands on 70 yards up in the goal, breaks down to Paddock Homan. Paddock Homan gives a quick ball up to Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor comes away with the ball. He's on midfield, he passes it in again to Peter Axon. Peter is out front, wins the ball again. Semi dislodged and gets a free in. 23 yards up from the goal uh, on the left hand side of the field. And we have uh, Aidan Nolan salting up there to slip her over the bar. One would hope. We're out on YouTube for the first time ever as a club and we welcome everyone from all around the world. Australia, America, New Zealand, Dubai, Aust Australasia, the whole lot. Where we go? Japan, <laughs> London and Dublin, and Cork. We Aidan Owen stepping up to here. We could even have Tony Lachlan, our last time to, captain for last time to win in 76, uh, looking in from Cork. If he is, we wish him well. Aidan steps up, short drag, nice little jab. And over the bar, and a great score by Aidan. What do you get at, John? A uh, very good score, well taken. Yeah, great score. Yeah, four minutes gone. Uh, Buntori one, half a house, Buntori one point up. Aidan's uh, free taken again, the Duffery in the quarter final was absolutely excellent. Scoring them all, all angles and ranges. Out as far as 70 yards out. Uh, the confidence game with the uh, county hurlers is, he's bringing it to his club game. Great kick out, heading towards the line, Colin Farrell lets her on. Line ball to one Claudy. 65 yards out from the Kyle Learn goal. Lots of movement across the field, all the young lads. Showing the power Peter is ever looking for it. And Mark Sheen gets it into his hand but drops it out of his hand. Kyle Learn come away with the ball. Hard look by Mark there. Kyle Learn held up in the middle of the field. Number 12 there, uh, Mark Boland. Mark Boland gives it back. Lots of bodies around on Montlaudy's side as well. And everyone putting in tackles. Montlaudy win it back. Kevin Carty says unfairly. <coughs> Kyle Nearing restart the game uh, on their 70 yard line. Go across the midfield on their over 70s. A patient build up, I think they call it in Inter County. A boring one in club. Paddock Homan gets in a good tackle there. And the ball, pressure is behind by John Axon and it's kicked straight Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen coming away with the ball. Gives it out to Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor coming down the far side of the field. Toe to hand three times, gets slightly around the neck. Come past midfield, goes through midfield. Giving out to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen. Gives it into Peter, towards Peter Axon. Davy Rick gets a hand to it. And breaks off to the side and Kyle Nearing deal handy enough with that one. But Davy is persistent. Kyle Nearing have to come to this side to get rid of it. But Claudy Farmer's putting on great pressure. Throw the hand once, throw the hand twice. Number two, Aidan Jones. Same name as our former parish priest from that part of the world. Reverend Aidan Jones. Uh, Ball from Aiden to Davy Rick. Davy Rick gets his hand on the ball, out near the sideline. Looks up, gives it back to Aiden. Aiden to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly gets his first touch of the ball. Aiden going to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell going through 50 yard line, going to make a stab ahead. Kicks it and kicks it over the bar. It could be our day. Colin Farrell starts to stick him over the bar. Away we go. Two points to one after many minutes, John. After seven minutes. Two points to nil, sorry. After seven minutes. Grace, great, great running. Well won. Colin Learn restarted again, away to come again. Colin Cabinet, the captain, coming away with it. Goes through the middle, goes through 70, the midfield, and into our 70. Gives it back out to Mahi Ford. A lot of negotiating going on there, but now to have a little bit of an opening. Owen Kelly gets in the tackle and slap in the face. There by Owen, and Owen could see a yellow card here. No, accidental, the ref says. All right. He's getting some sort of a, a book out now and hang up around the face, even accidental or not, now you're trying to get booked for it. First yellow card of the game goes to Owen Kelly. First Kelly ever to get a yellow card, did you? 
Free is um, 48 yards out. I suppose we should be going a metre, so we stick with yards for the day. Uh, 48 yards out from the Buntlody goals, directly in front of it. And the great Mahi Four steps up to take it. Five yards of a run on. He strikes, doesn't get a great kick ahead, lands into the hands of Billy Kelly, I think it is. Yeah, Billy Kelly in the clearance out, puts, puts uh, Adam Hogan under heavy pressure there with, the, uh, with his clearance. Ah, oh, and a great thing. But Claudia getting back in great numbers. Forced, that's the second time they're at the force in the ball to uh, Kyle Leonard to kick the ball to Aidan Nolan. Aidan gets a great ball in around. Davy Rick is half under. But the captain, Colin Cavanagh, comes away again. Josh Martin is in with the tackle. Davy Rick is out there working hard. Lots of buzz around the field, all over. Davy Rick is the into foul. Davy Rick, Davy Rick holding up the ball. Ball brought forward. Ball kicked in and away we go, we started again. Then he kicked about seven yards and it's back where it started again. Kyle Lear not making big ground with her passes. Patient Very patient build up. Patient or born, we're not sure which, but anyway, it's a build up anyway. Sean Axon is stretched out here to the side now. Kyle Lear and Peter Hughes, former midfielder in the good old age room. Peter has it again, Peter gives it back, Peter gets it again. Goes to the ground looking for the three, but Kevin Carty doesn't bite. The ball is kicked out. Yeah. Number eight, Bobby Hughes kicks over a great score. Two points to one. That's the first score after ten minutes for Kyle Lear. First score for Kyle Lear after ten minutes. Patrick Cabin with the kick out again. A good lively game. Lots of running in all directions. Marking. Uh, positions don't mean a whole lot, lads are numbers don't mean a whole lot. And the great kick out for Patrick Cavanagh again, right in the middle of the field. Mark Sheen, Aidan Nolan's up for Aidan Nolan breaks it down. Breaks it down to Kyle Lear. Aidan Nolan wins it back. Great ball. Out to Josh Martin. Josh Martin throws the hand once. Hops it on the ground. Gives a quick ball in around the house. And Peter's in on it. Oh, hard look. Uh, well, got, well hovered up there by Kyle Lear. Peter just nearly had his hands on it. And a great tackle again by Josh Martin. Josh Martin forced Kyle Lear into there. Colin Farrell coming, is he going to get his second one? Going to try the left foot hard. If he do, it's curtains. Colin gets it in around the house. Still there. Colin Learn get it back. Colin Learn come away again. Punt Lodi forwards putting woeful pressure on Colin Learn's backs. Every time. Colin Learn. This time they're. They're toe kicking it. Aiden Nolan having for, having for pace. And Aiden is fouled. And uh, well done by Aiden Nolan there. Excellent. The work rate is great and we get uh, brought forward 10 yards again. Martin O'Connor with the, in possession. Our centre back and the man has with Martin Mahi Ford. Long ball down the field, down towards Davy Rick. Davy's on it, Peter Axel's there in support. Davy goes around one man, gives it into Peter. Just Peter gets a hand to it. Breaks away to Kyle Nearn. Kyle ball, Kyle Nearn come away with the ball. Kyle Learman down injured. Uh, he was brave there, that Kyle Learman going to that tackle there, number two, Aidan Jones. Uh, and he, we have a few uh, brothers and relations on the team there. Uh, we have Francis and David Rick from Clonyborn. We have John and Kevin Dunn, uh, sons of our former uh, former uh, captain and centre back, John, uh, captain of the 85 senior team. Uh, we have Paddy and Eddie Dunbar uh, from Brady's Hill. We've uh, John and Dennis Finn, uh, Kerry Duff. Shemi Kelly is father of Owen, the centre forward, uh, and Owen is a cousin of Billy, the corner back, and Cahal Lyle is sub. Um, we have Darren Kyo uh, is a cousin of Aidan Nolans. Mark Sheen is a cousin of James Moorheads. Uh, both our fathers were heavily involved in the club. Noel Sheen, uh, RIP, and Paddy Moorhead, RIP, both on a lot for the club. And uh, their grandfather, Mick Dean, was a great club man back the years. Uh, and he was a brother of Father Rory, he's a great man. We've ended Slevin and Mahi Bourne, our brother in laws. We've uh, Brendan Daly from Atai County Kildare and teaching the common there for the last 30 or 40 years. And uh, uh, doing tireless work for the club. Um,
or we're ready for the free. Kyle Learner taking the free or taking possession. Actually, uh, it's an indirect free. The man down injured, and he's thinking hard to kick it. Niall Hughes gets held, held him, gets blown for being too slow to kick it. He couldn't make up his mind. And <coughs> Niall is a present uh, member of this Wexford Senior Football team. And married to Mary Lacey. And the ball is running. Go down and all oh, great stuff. Eddie Dunbar hauled down there and a great, great persistence by Eddie. And we have a free right inside the D, straight in front of the goal. Very, very determined, wasn't he, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good strong lad. Yeah, good yeah. strong chap. Yeah. Likes the physical end of it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Aidan Nolan off to kick it out of, uh, off the ground <laughs> steps up <laughs> stay over the bar well done by Aidan 3 points to 1 after 14 minutes, after 14 minutes. Half, after the first half Three points to one. And lots of energy being burnt by all the Bunt Claudia panel all over the field. Definitely tackling very hard on all the Hocked and hard, yeah. Yeah. We have behind our own full back lane, we only have Billy Kelly and John Axon. Uh, everyone else is forward to that. Anyway, finally, get the kick out. Breaks the Nile hose again. He gives a grab. He gives a great ball into Column Cabinet. Column Cabinet. Being chased by Sean Kenny. Great uh, running by Sean Kenny. Uh, Martin. And a great goal, a great goal by Colin Kevin. Martin O'Connor had to go to the, uh, Sean Kenny had to go to the man, turn over his head to Colin Kevin, and Colin Kevin uh, put it away, and an excellent goal by Colin Kevin. That was a very good goal, Ah, oh, the great. Kenny got back. Yeah, yeah, got well. back very well, yeah. Was a final ball in, like, was yeah. a good ball. Ah, uh, it was a good ball and a good finish. Patrick with the kick out again. So it's 1 1 to 3 points on the halfway mark. Nice puck out, nice kick out to John Axe. John Axe is coming away with the ball. Semi foul. Still goes. No, no lay up. Great ball out to Eddie Dunbar. Great ball. A great ball. Eddie Dunbar with a great ball in Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan with the kick. And a great ball to Peter Axe. Peter out to the side. Turn. And if he gets it with the footing. And he gives a great ball in Josh Martin. Josh Martin turns. Oh, and hard look at a great shot by Josh Martin. Excellent move by Bunt Claudie there. Great stuff. <laughs> Peter had a shot, but he just pulled a little bit there. And he gave it an offload to Josh Martin. And John Martin they got, in, got away a great shot uh, just to, run, uh, to the left hand side of the post and just barely wide it would have been a great tonic but anyway and Kyle Lear coming to kick out again Owen Kelly up Kyle Lear win, win it Kyle Lear and Niall Hughes coming away with it Owen Kelly tackling turns him. Niall Hughes goes again gives a long ball in again Martin O'Connor's on the right side of it he lets it on to Patrick Cavanagh Patrick Cavanagh quick ball out to Martin O'Connor <coughs> Out to Sean Kenny. Ball down to Davy Rick. Aidan Jones is out there first. And Kyle Learn come away with the ball again. The goal scorer and uh, captain Colin Cavanagh on the ball, right on his own uh, 50 yard line. Plays it off to Niall Hughes. Niall Hughes offloads. Kyle Learn struggling to get out of this, they're falling. And Bud Claudia putting awful pressure on. Bud Claudia again the ground. Eddie Dunbar makes a great block down. Breaks back inside. Kyle Learn have it. Eddie puts pressure on him. Kyle Learn under heavy pressure trying to get over. <laughs> Kyle Learn come away with the ball. The overlap. Kicked into Mahi Ford to the right hand side. Mahi, when he turns around, he's sure he's trying to swing this one over. No, he gives a quick ball in again. Looking for a bike. Peter Hughes gives it outside. Great block down by Owen Kelly. Ball breaks. Uh, Patrick Holm gets a toe to it. Had a column foul. Owen Kelly. Josh Martin. Way back in his own full back line. And away he comes. Lots of space in front of him. Gives out a great ball to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan. Has a look up. See what the options are. Davy Rick has gone to one side. Peter Rank has gone to the other. Uh, Peter is double marked. Josh Martin loves in a great ball. Peter is up. Peter gets his hand to it. Davy Rick is in on it. Ball breaks again. And Kyle, and Kyle Learn come away again. 
Oh, we had to call him again. Ball played down in front of Kyle Nearn. Buntlawley putting heavy pressure on. Four Buntlawley lads around it. He's Kyle Nearn didn't handle on the ground. Number 13, Bobby Hughes. That's great pressure. Great yeah. pressure on. Out to Paddock Home. Paddock Home to Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny throw the hand once, throw the hand twice, crossing the midfield. Hops it on the ground. No, Josh Martin, sorry. Right. Josh Martin gives it back to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen goes around one man. He's 50 yards up in the goal. Left foot solo. Gives a quick ball into Peter. Peter on the 14 yard line. Turns, has a look at the post. And he's going to strike. No. Two hops. Gets away with it. Kicks it. Over the bar. Great stuff. Great stuff by Peter. That's something about 10 seconds behind. So you have to see people. I don't know. And Mark said to look at it. Oh, no, we're not fussy like that for Jersey. Uh, put us back on level terms. How are we doing time wise there, John? 19 minutes gone. 1-1 one, one to 4 points. Kick out from Tom Hughes. He loves a great ball. Right how in the midfield. Aiden Nolan is up. He's semi-beaten though. He gets it again. Gets it again. Gets slight pull around the neck. Uh, number 17, Mark Gittins. Usually yellow car for this. No malice whatsoever. And just, just, just the way the thing is now. With it. Just barely caught him above the shoulder. And once you go up there at all, you're always going to be in butter. So right on the mark of midfield. And Hayden is looking for someone to give it. Colin Farrell is not looking. Away we go again. Lots of movement inside. Everyone moving. No one stands still. And Peter's the target again. Way out to one side. Double mark. Peter has it. Slips on the 21-yard line. Goes around one man. Goes around the captain. Goes around two men. Going to pass it. A great pass. Davy Rick has it. And great shot from Davy Rick. A foot block. A semi-foot block by Eddie Dunbar. The ball has gone out for a 50. We got, we got him great stuff there. Oh, yeah, most got there. Got, once Peter gets the ball in his hand, he's taking on the man. Yeah, yeah. He's getting around. I think the old man threw, the old man threw it. Watch this. We're looking at the replay here. Davey Rick gets it out. Oh, yes. Kyle Nurman throws it away, but that's with the, the help of a replay. We'll stick to the live stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we could end up in Club Park, you know, with this commentary. So, Aidan Nolan, right in the mid... Uh, right. Uh, uh, right in the centre of the goal, he steps back, he's uh, customary three or four yards. Kyle Learn, Childer Egan is on there to make sure we get a score. And Aiden gets a lovely kick away again. Oh, off the post! Oh, be the Kyle Learn midfielder, Brendan Hobbs wins it. And he charged out with it, he's looking to get away. And Kyle Learn uh, get out over the sideline and get away from danger. Uh, I thought Brendan Hobbs was lucky there, he wasn't charged, uh, lucky to pull for charge in there. We get a quick ball away to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen has a look up. Quick ball in. And a great kick there by Aiden, I think, was it? Uh, the goalman grabs it. Tom Hughes and Kyle Learn come away. A long ball out. Gets over the bit of cover we have. Opens up the job a bit. Mark Sheen won't have the legs to get back. Patrick Coleman. We're running in. Billy Kelly's under heavy pressure. Danger here. Oh, a great goal. A great goal by... We'll see who got it there. But it was well, very well worked out of the backs. Number, number 15, uh, Dean Toole. Uh, very well worked by Kyle Nearn. They kicked a the long ball clearance that got past all our cover. And Kyle Nearn were on the attack. And to have it loose down there, there's only two or three players down there at any one time. And uh, got in for a great goal. Oh, very quickly that time, Liam, didn't uh, yeah, they? We were very quick. Aiden wins a great ball in the kick out. Long ball over. Davy Rick, coming towards Davy Rick. Davy Rick wins it. He might be going to, he cuts inside, gives a great ball into Patrick Coleman. Patrick Coleman going through. Great shot. And a great goal by Patrick Coleman. <laughs> Tommy Hughes was in very hard look there. He got down well. Excellent, excellent return by, uh, by, uh, uh, Patrick Coleman. That's Patrick's first goal in this championship. I'd say he scored two points against the Dublin, but I'd say it's his first goal. First to Manny, hopefully. Size and level again. How are we doing, high miser, John? 22 minutes gone in the size and level in a very exciting game. Tom Hughes gets a great kick out. Kyle Lynn win a great ball. Excellent. Uh, Bobby Hughes. Bobby Hughes gets a long ball away into Mar and Martin O'Connor is out. He's been hassled by the great Mahi Ford. Billy Kelly gets a kick away. 
directed towards Eddie Dunbar. Eddie Dunbar just stalls and uh, Nigel Hughes intervenes. Eddie is back out working hard. Owen, Owen Kelly is out working hard and all the lads are working harder. Excellent tackle. Kyle Huron give a great ball across the center. Right on the, on the 70 yard line. Playing the full width of the field. Kyle Huron cutting inside again. This is where the dangers. They're cutting out five or six point lottery defenders with the one kick. And a great ball in around the house. But there's no one in there. She bounces on the edge of the square and out for a wide. 2-1 to 1-4. One, one, Anyone's game. Patrick Hampton looking to get away one. Gets a great ball out to Billy Kelly. Billy Kelly comes away. Mahi Ford is saving his energy. He's not going to chase him. Gives it out. Gives it out to the midfielder, Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen turns. Out past his own 70. Three solos. He has a look up. The bear Peter Axis is inside. And Peter breaks the ball to himself. He wins a great ball. Goes around one man. Oh, and a great tackle. Excellent tackle. Peter is fouled. Dragged. Pulled. Doesn't get a free. And has to play back out and it goes to Kyle Nairn. Yeah, excellent defence by Brendan Hobbs. Well done by Eddie Dunbar. But one Claudie win back the ball again. They're winning great ball back there in that half hour midfield. Here. Hard luck, Sean Kenny tries to give out the ball to Peter Axon, but uh, it's intercepted there by uh, Kyle Nairn. John Axon gets in a great tackle, but deemed to be fouled. Kyle Nearing with the ball, half is between the 21 and the 50, uh, plays it back to Bobby Hughes. Bobby Hughes on the 21 yard line. He's coming out along. Coming on, he's out to the 50 yard line. He passed the 50 yard line. Aiden Owen goes to meet him. And he gives a great ball in to, to favour the Kyle Nearing forward. But uh, Josh Martin is back. Kyle Nearing looking dangerous again. At the extra man there. Matty Ford has it. Gives it out again. Kicks is high and kick is wide. Uh, number 12 there, uh, Mark Bowling will be disappointed with that one. Buntoli looking for the free, uh, for the loose ball. And Mark Sheen running one way, Billy Kelly to the other side. Patrick Cabin having a look out. Uh, he's going to go long. Long she is, up between Mark Sheen and Aidan Nolan. And Aidan Nolan is pushed in the back. And uh, we get a free in right in the midfield area. Another chance for a full forward line. To get more possession. Doing very well. What ball is going in? Quick ball by Aiden to Mark Sheen. Mark Sheen opts to give it back. Right on the great pass. In motion. Aiden goes around one man. He's 35 yards out from the goal. He takes a shot. And a slightly to the left of post and wide. Hard look there by Aiden. Good move. Tom Hughes with the kick out. Tom Hughes steps back, a short punt, and he gets it out to the midfield, just a punt. Kyle Learn is up, gets one hand to it. Owen Kelly is deemed for a hand on the back. Harmless enough. Quick ball. John Axon is on the tackle. Kyle Learn interchanging there a couple of years, runs into Colin Farrell. No way around Colin. Back, plays it back to midfield again. Have a man gone inside again. This is where they're dangerous. Uh, Peter Hughes gives a short ball. And that's an excellent score off his left foot. And we'll get the number there now in a minute. Number 12, Mark Boland. Great score with his left foot. Good score. Uh, so that's eight points to seven. 27 minutes gone, and Patrick Cabin with the kick out. Long ball again. Uh, Josh Martin gives his hand over there, but it falls open, breaks to Kyle Nearn again. Mark Boland gets the ball away. Kyle Nearn coming away, just on their own, on their own 70 yard line. Quick ball in, in over the top. Mahi Ford gets a hand, but Martin O'Connor gets a hand over. Kyle Nearn going inside again. Davy Rick is back there tackling. Davy Rick. Great, great tackling, great tackling with Evan Force, Force Kyle Nairn into uh, overcarrying it. 
Uh, Kevin Carty looking for the ball back there. We're not sure what's for. Someone injured, is it? Or oh, there's a Kyle Nearman injured on the far side there. Looks as though he'll have to get the dead leg. Aidan Nolan with the kick. 23 yards off from his own goal. Lots of movement. Oh, lads boosting around everywhere. Heads it towards Peter. Peter has it, gets a hand to it. Mark Boland, though. Or Brendan Hobbs. Wins a great ball off Peter. Heads it back to Bobby Hughes. Bobby Hughes out to Colin Cabner, the captain, the goal scorer. And he makes progress down the field. Niall Hughes playing across the field and a great clever ball cuts out towards Sri Bontori lads again. This is what they excel at. Colin Cab oh, well done by Billy Kelly. Billy Kelly got Colin Cabner in position. Ball played into Mahi Ford. Mahi plays a great quick ball across, but Colin Farrell, oh, great intervention by Colin. Great ball by Mahi Ford. Colin Farrell blocked down. Uh, Kyle Nearn come again. Yeah. And Kyle... Kyle Nearn kick an excellent score. Through Bobby Hughes. Great score. So 2-3, 9 points to 7. 2-3 to 1-4. Yeah. Yeah. There's been chances on both sides, hasn't there? Lots of chances on both sides, John, yeah. They're a little bit on top at the moment. Yeah, right? yeah. They're, they're, they're a bit more patient with their build-up, I think. You know? yeah. So... But we've had a lot of good chances Lots too. Lots of good chances know, and everyone so working hard. Yeah, very yeah, hard. Yeah. You know. And we're hoping we can keep the work rate up now. Yes, and put the pressure know, on them. They might be a bit yeah. harder than what we are in a lot of cases. Yeah, yes. hopefully. So hopefully the last 15 minutes you'll open out for us. Patrick Captain coming away with him. Headed towards Aidan Nolan. Aidan wins a great ball. Great mark. Uh, yeah, great mark by Aidan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't no mark. Mark on your ear. Was like. All right, Owen Kelly. Goes, hold the hand once. Hold the hand twice. Severely tackled there by Niall Hughes. Uh, out to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan with a dummy. Aidan goes around one side. Hatter Coleman takes the ball. He gives it to Eddie Dunbar. Eddie Dunbar makes strike. Oh, be the alert. Eddie Dunbar attracts uh, an equi tackle there from, uh, from Reese Owley. And, uh, no, he doesn't. No, 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 no. Kevin Carty is not too happy. Uh, Finals, not a bit, not a bit, no. A minor county yeah. experience, yeah. like a probably stand from. Great know, from, yeah. Certainly are not phased by it or not, very not a bit. No. Not a bit. Aidan Nolan right on the D. 1 4 at the minute, we'll be hoping at 1 5. Nice kick by Aidan over the centre of the bar. Uh, a well won free by Eddie Dunbar. <laughs> Eight points. We're in extra time. No, two injuries there, I think, is all there was. Bobby Hughes with the kick out. And a great kick out it is. Right out to the midfield. Side pushing the back by Billy Kelly. He seems to have got away with it. No, half time. Ball over the sideline half. No, no about it. Larry. So half time, uh, we can't complain about that. Buntlody, uh, Buntlody 1 5, uh, Kyle Learn uh, 2 3. So nine points to eight, only, only a point in it. So, uh, what do you think there, Rory Murphy? Have Rory Murphy, former chairman and secretary of the club. Uh, what do you think there, Rory? It's an absolutely excellent game. I'm delighted with the, the way our lads are playing. I think we're the youth is serving us really well. The young lads are flying, in fairness, don't and we've had some fantastic chances and uh, we've, we've been a bit unfortunate. They've had lesser chances, taking them very well. They keep playing the same way as Kyle Nearn did 20 years ago. They run and run and run and they keep supporting each other. They're probably stronger against the wind, so I don't expect anything spectacular from them in the second half. They'll keep playing the same way, so the wind won't be an advantage to them. If Ireland's keep it up, we have every chance. Peter's causing trouble in there. 
Uh, if we can get the ball in around to them, keep it low, we have every chance. I'm thrilled with the lads. I think they're playing a fantastic game of football. Uh, will, uh, do you think we might have the do you think we might have the youth uh, at the end, Rory, or how do you think it'll work out that way? Well, I hope so, but to be fair to Kyle Nearn, they've built their style of football on fitness and they've always been very fit and they've always ran, ran, ran. But we have a fantastic young team and the young guys are playing really, really clever, intelligent football. It's not just their ability to run, they're hitting hard, they're playing long, low balls into the forwards. You couldn't ask for better. They're fr I thrilled with them, absolutely. I oh, thought the goal that we got was essential and very well taken. Thanks very much, Rory. Talk to you there. Thanks. Get up there, Larry. Get up, Pete. That's a very shy Larry Dial at me. Uh, former uh, trainer, coach, and manager. Shemi was there as well, but I don't think Shemi had much speak. It was all Larry. So, what do you think of that, Larry? Ah, sure, they're going okay, probably. They're going okay. A uh, couple of lapses from the backs. Uh, probably kept Kyle near and innocent. Maybe, I say, overall, I say our lads are younger and are fitter, and hopefully in the second half that they can can get more than a bit. A couple of lads, they reckon, a couple of lads in the forward line get, get the ball, and hopefully we can do a bit better in the second half now, yeah. Yeah, the, we, uh, the, we got back with a goal, a great goal after the scoring. Great goal, young cowman in Irish Street, great goal. Uh, it, looked, it, was, it was looking bad there for a minute after Matty Ford he winning the ball and pushing on to young O'Toole and they're scoring a goal for go three points up but we came back well and young uh, Coleman done well to, to own an overlap and back back the net yeah okay. so Good uh, you think it's still within the grasp anyway oh, I, think, Larry, I yeah. think we're a great, great chance yeah. yeah we just need to be a bit more clever with the ball at times probably and uh Kanye probably overlapping a bit in, in middle of the field, running, running, yeah. running ahead, so overlapping. So they just need to watch that probably. Yeah, they seem, uh, they seem to be leaving just two forwards inside. So if they're able to get past midfield, they have more room inside, haven't they? They are indeed. Yeah. And Mahi is still even, even let him be 37 or 8 years of age. He's yeah. still clever enough. He's still yeah. able to win the ball and pass it on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks very much, Larry. Okay, Liam. We have Tina here now. Tina. Go on, Tina. Go on. Tina's gone on us, I think. <laughs> We have the great Liam Splat here as now. Great Bally Hog stalwart in his time. What do you get at Liam? Well, I suppose you're definitely the better team I felt in the first half. Uh, maybe one or two chances went to begging, but Peter Atkinson has proven a real handful in there. And, you know, Kyle and Ear are an experienced team with the aid of the Tower Rocks players, the three or four Tower Rocks mm. players they got have made them a stronger team. And, you know, I still think you're in a good position to win this if you still keep that ball pumped in. Yeah. Aidan Nolan's having a great game in midfield. Yeah, they seem to be able to they just have two uh, they have only two forwards and it seems once they get past midfield they're dangerous they're really, they're yeah really they're on the run yeah. yeah they bypass midfield a couple yeah, of times yeah. and, and put you on a little bit of pressure but I think you have a lot of younger legs than they have I feel even though it's a couple of Tower Rocks players yeah. that made them a better team obviously yeah. with yeah. Brendan Hobbs there at full back he's having yeah. his hands full with Peter yeah, yeah, mind yeah. you still he made a great block down there didn't yeah, he yeah and I suppose yeah. it's tough today for yeah. the club you know yeah, with, yeah. The, with the bereavement and, yeah. and you know, that won't affect the players when they get out there. Not at all, no, but you're no, certainly no. in this game. Yeah, yeah. No certainly question about it. Um, anything else there, Liam, you'd like to comment on? Well, I sh it's great to see, you know, the disappointment of the hurling that you still have football. And I know yeah. you're, like, the Colundrum in Wexford with GA clubs, you're one of those that you have. You'd like to get up to senior in hurling, yeah. you'd like to get up to senior in football. And it's very hard for clubs to manage it. But, you know, I still think, and I've always believed that footballers in Wexford shouldn't be deprived the right to play football. A young fella shouldn't be deprived the right to pull on a Wexford jersey to play football. Not at all, yeah. And not everybody's going to be a good hurler. So it'd be nice to see Bun Claudie back. Yeah. Uh, it's a very even game. Uh, the scoreline would suggest at half time 2 3 to 1 5. That's still going to be tight at the end, I feel. Yeah. And the thing about uh, going senior in football, that's not the big jump that it is in hurling, isn't it? Probably not, no. no because you look at the James and. and yeah, but there's still, and you will know, and Kyle Nearn down in 2014 and yourselves down a few yeah. years, how difficult it is to get out of intermediate yeah, ranks, yeah, just yeah, the same. Yeah. But it's a fine game of football, I feel. You know, yeah. it's a good advertisement for football. There's some great individual skills, and I'm highly impressed with Aidan all in the midfield. Yeah. It's an area that. He's, I feel he's dominating there and his he's delivery of the football is very good. He's used the ball very well, doesn't he? Absolutely, yeah. 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 Thanks very much, Liam. You're welcome. Uh, Liam, uh, the, the man that invented uh, South East Radio commentaries. <laughs> Thanks very much, Liam. You're welcome. Shows, we have sh the great Seamus Shows here. I may, I may get, uh, get the camera raised up for Seamus there. No uh, 
Seamus, the uh, uh, former stalwart for Kyle Nearn and uh, Wexford for, for many years. Uh, how many senior footballers do you win, Seamus? I've been lucky enough to win six. six. I, was with, I was with a good team, so I was yes. not too many to have six. So I'm, um, I thought only two of us, or three of us in Kyle Nearn have six, so, uh, six medals. So. Great achievement. Yeah, we're a good team. You have to have a good team yeah. in, in order to, in order uh, to get six. And you have to be very dedicated as well. Absolutely, yeah. We had a great time. We, yeah. we, had, we had a great career as a guy yeah. kicking football, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking to Mick there early. He put a finishing touch to the Duffy Rovers here. He, Locked the ball over the bar here in the Clonard then one Sunday evening and finished the Duffy. He did. And, and, and you took over. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, no, we didn't take over, but um, the same day John Hegarty scored a peach of a goal and our, our trainer today, uh, Pat Ford, scored a soccer type goal yeah. up on that end. Uh, right. I'll never forget that day. Uh, yeah. I think they'd won seven in, on a trot that time. And they won seven on the trot, missed one and won, uh, won eight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, we, we had won in the media year before. Yeah. And would you believe. Again, was, the mark just drew. I was at the match. Yes, it was 25 years ago tomorrow. Aye. Uh, since that match. So you just beat the mark. Yeah, so yeah. history kind of repeats themselves here did, today. Did you just play the match in two drawn games at him? Or one drawn three. Game. Three draw, yeah, yeah, three, three matches games. in total. That's what I was thinking. Three, three matches in total. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Three matches in total. Very difficult to go intermediate. The gap in intermediate and senior football in Wexford is not big. It's not huge. No, no, no. it's not huge. Um, but look at, um, I think the two teams, what I'm really happy with today is the two teams are playing a very open game. It's not defensive. Yeah. Hence, we've three goals already scored in the game. Yeah, yeah. Not too many players behind the ball. And we're seeing a good entertaining game of football. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah where do you see your strengths? The way you're playing the. Uh, uh, just two forwards up front seems to have created the two goal chances? Uh, our strengths, I suppose, is um, I know the team is well coached, yeah. and that's a big strength for us. Yeah. I know they're reasonably fit. Uh, we're certainly a lot older than maybe Bunt Lodi, but um, uh, Pat Ford is over them. He'll have them right, and they'll have their heads right too. So, you know, I think Bunt Lodi have the agent that they're a bit younger, they're faster, they're, 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 they're opening us up a number of times with uh, Adam Nolan coming through from the middle of the field, yeah. playing very well in there. But then our land in the middle of the field, Niall Hughes playing very well they're too. Right. It's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. Yeah. Thanks very much, Seamus. Hey, Harold. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
We're back again here for the second half of the Intermediate Football Final. That's uh, half a house, Puntlody 1-5, uh, Kyle Learn 2-3. Two, two, uh, the selectors are making their way off the field. So when we have a minute there, uh, I believe Patsy Furlong, uh, former great worker for the club and employer for Puntlody in general, uh, is in hospital and we wish him the very best of luck. At one stage, Patsy had 200 lads working for him in the mid-70s. And, and the teams that won the, and was involved in the 80s, 90% of them worked for Patsy Furlong. So we wish Patsy the very best of luck. Kevin Carty ready to throw in the ball. Away we go. Ball is in and the game is on. Kyle Learn up first, get a hand out and Kyle Learn win the ball in the middle of the field. Offloaded again. Joss Martin fouls. Quick ball in around the house. Into Mahi Ford. Mahi Ford has been marked tight by Martin O'Connor. He tries to go around him, but Martin is not buying into it. He's there again. Well, well done by Martin O'Connor. And an excellent score by Mahi Ford. Even though Martin O'Connor was still there, never lost to Mahi. was there to hold him off with Anna and a kick of the other hand. One of the great footballers Wexford ever had. Scored 2 11 here one day in 2004 again, awfully in, a, in a, 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 a qualifying game. An exhibition of football. 2 4 to 1 5, Patrick Cabinet with the kick out. Kyle Learn managed by Pat Ford, the former uh, captain and, and brother of Matty. Uh, Patrick goes out and Aiden is up uh, and Aiden just misses it and gets a bit of an old fall. Kyle Learn come away with the ball again. Long ball in, gear towards Mahi. Martin Umbar is out, and Martin O'Connor is out front. Ball wins behind Mahi. Mahi is no to pass, he has to go around, carries it too far. And a great block down by Patrick Cabinet, and Mahi taps it into the net. Um, excellent stuff by Mahi, excellent stuff by Buntori. Defence, uh, Patrick Cabinet done great work to block it down, but it just fell back to him. There's no other coil near man around. Uh, it just fell back to Mahi's toe, and he toe poked it into the net. So that's 3 4 to 1 5. Martin O'Connor, the hop just caught him just by a whisper. <sighs> Patrick Cabinet with the kick out. Up she goes, Aiden is up on Aiden and gets his hand out again but doesn't win it. Josh Martin forces the tackle. Colin Cabinet wins the ball, goes to the ground, gives it out. Sean Kenny gets a shoulder in. Kevin Carty deems this wasn't shoulder to shoulder. Uh, I beg. Yeah. Uh, John Axon seems to be stepping back into a uh, halfway house role there now at, uh, on the 21 yard out and they're directing him to Mahi again. Martin is out. Mahi gets out in front of him. And Mahi turns and Mahi kicks an absolute. Blinder of the score. With his back to the goal, he shoots it out over his shoulder. And a great score by Mahi Ford. 3 5 to 1 5. Two, two goals in it. Short kick out by Patrick Captain John Axe. John Axe is coming away with the ball. He's fouled. John Axe won't be deterred. He comes again. Gives a great ball back to Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor coming away with the ball. Throw the hand once. Throw the hand twice. Comes away again. Patrick Coleman goes in there to give him a dig out. Uh, fifth, uh, 70 yards out from the goal. Patrick Coleman gives a long ball down the field. Peter is out first out. With the corner back, Aidan Jones wins a great ball. Kyle in position. Peter thinks the tackle wasn't fair. He's trying to sort it out down here himself. We'll follow the play. Away we go. Coming up the far side of the field. Dean O'Toole. When Claudie being stretched to the limits here now in the backs. For some reason to see Adam Hogan. Gives it out to Mahi Ford. And the referee gives a foul. He gives a free. Uh, 22 yards out from the goal. Uh, 15 yards in from the sideline and Matty Ford to take. <sighs> Steps up and over the bar. 
Put a 3 6 to 1 5 and Buntoli have a mountain to climb now, John. I have, yeah. 15 pine state, like it's. Yeah. Start the second half, yeah. 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 Patrick Calvin with the kick out again. Now he uses up a powder home and gets a hand to it. Breaks to Josh Martin. Josh Martin goes past the midfield. Hold the hand twice. Has gives a pass into Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny gets a hand to it. Owen Kenny gets a hand to it. Breaks inside to Kyle Nearn. Kyle Nearn had the ball. Win it out. Quick passing and uh, come away with it. Take it out of danger. Out to the 21 yard line. Long ball in. Sean Kenny is up for Sean Kenny. Boxed out with Sean's hands. He loses possession. Kyle Nearn gets it. Sean gets in a heavy tackle there on one of the midfielders. Uh, Kyle Nearn coming away with the ball again. Keeping possession. Brendan Hobbs. Oh, Kyle Nearn find the man loose again. This is the way they got the first two goals. Find the man loose beyond midfielders. Quick, quick ball in. Uh, Reese Oli. Reese Oli gives it into the great Mahi Ford. Mahi Ford is trying to go around Martin O'Connor. Doesn't succeed. Martin O'Connor holds him out. Gives it out the ball back out. Back out to the midfielder. Dean Toole has it. Aidan Nolan comes away with it. Aidan Nolan is semi blocked down. Trying to get out to Owen Kelly. But, uh, two coin near men and Peter Hughes looks to be in bother enough. Uh, no, the two more up. And away we go again. Colin Farrell to take the free. Uh, 45 yards up from the goal. He gives it up to Owen Kelly. It beats Owen Kelly, but Eddie Dunbar wins it. Eddie Dunbar goes around one man. He has Owen Kelly for a pass. He gives it away to Owen Kelly. Owen comes down along the wing. Has a look up. Gives a great ball in around the house. Just a bit too far and straight into Tom Hughes' hand. He was looking at Josh Martin, but it just went... Yeah, a great run by Josh Martin. and just, oh, It was just a bit too far from him. Kyle Nearn come away with it. It's on the counter-attack where Kyle Nearn are dangerous. Uh, Kyle Nearn have the bodies up the field now. And threatening strong. They come away. Billy Kelly gets out well out in front, out in front of uh, Dean Toll and he gives a great ball in and well robbed there by Patrick Coleman. Excellent rob. Well done. Gives it out to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell, 50 yards up in the goal. Gives a long ball down to uh, uh, Davy Rick. Davy Rick out wins it. Goes to take on uh, Brendan Hobbs. Doesn't quite get around and comes back this way. Ring the bother here now. Gives it out to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell hit Sean Kenny. No, no, the movement is after drying up a little bit. Back out to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan goes around one man. He's 70 yards up, 50 yards up in the goal. He gives it into Eddie Dunbar. Eddie Dunbar going through. Gets pulled. And he's very hard look there to be overcarrying it. He was caught and swung around and then he was deemed for overcarrying it. When Claudia could do it again, now score on the board here now to lift the siege. Uh, ball played by Kyle Nearn back to Tom Hughes Tom Hughes and the way to come again up to Peter Hughes Peter Hughes 70 yards out from the goal has a look up long ball over cross towards Mahi ball to favour Mahi and well locked out by Billy well robbed by Billy Kelly but Mahi still managed to get his foot to it gives it into Dean Toole I think it is Dean Toole is semi and very harsh they pull for over kind of, and it's a free, free a harsh decision as well Yeah, free out for Buntlody he brings it forward 20 yards, he didn't release the ball quick enough. He's not happy, but sure, there you go. A quick ball out by Colin Farrell out to Aidan Nolan. But Claude, you need to up the pace a bit to keep the pressure on Kyle Nearn. Long ball by Aidan, a great ball down long the Into Sean Kenny's hands on the run. And a great ball by Sean Kenny into Peter Axon. Peter Axon a lot of work to do. Peter goes around one man, goes around two men. Oh, and Kyle Hughes gets a great touch to it. Uh, and hits off Peter's knee and out for a wide ball. Excellent tackle by Niall Hughes. Words of encouragement there from Watt Bourne, I think, for Peter Axon. <laughs> Tom Hughes with the kick out. Out she comes. John Axon, or uh, Adam Hogan is up. I think the crowd got the free there for Kyle Nearender. Uh, Colin Cavden. Went to ground and then there's a free. Mm. 
कोई नहीं रिस्टार्ट हो गया ले हम लोग अब सिर्फ हमारे हिस थूम मुझ पे गैप जाना है कि नीचे भी बैक फार्ड थूम मुझ पे गैप तो भी लॉन्ग बॉल इन एंड वेल वोइड द गैप बिटवीन थूम मुझ पे गैप बिटवीन माही एंड द नेक्स्ट मैन सो द बॉल इस फेडिंग टू द स्पेस नियरली इम्पॉसिबल Uh, like the ball is played in front of uh, Mahi Ford, it'd be nearly impossible for Martin to get. Uh, Patrick Hamilton with the kick out again. Patrick Holmes is under. Sean Kenny is under. Sean Kenny gets a hand over. Uh, Patrick Holmes falls in, falls on the ground. Heavy competition on the ground. Kyle Lyon come away with the ball. John Dunn is in the game. Who did John Dunn come in for? Davey Rick is still on the field. Uh, Peter Rax is still on the field. Must be a wing forward, is it? Oh, great ball! Owner still there. Oh, Peter wins a great ball. Breaks out to Davy Rick. Davy Rick <coughs> has a look up. Look and sees Ryan coming in the far side. Gives it out to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan gives a great kick and she's over the bar. Next to score by Aidan Nolan. Almost 50 yards out. Get the flag flying again there. Yeah. Did we figure out who came in there? Just Martin at the far side, Eddie Dunbar. So the whole full forward line is there. Oh, Mark Sheen. Yes, Mark Sheen's gone on. Sean Kenny, Dean to foul there. Kyle Nearn, Mahi running each way, and uh, Martin O'Connor out in front of him. Martin O'Connor contests with him. That's gone out. Wide ball. Yeah. Patrick Hamilton with a kick out. John Axon looking for it. She comes to this side of the field. Patrick Hamilton is under it. Uh, Josh Martin wins a great ball. Well done by Josh Martin. He's a man of poking the gob to make a bit of space himself. Um, Who's being called? Referee is looking for someone. We're not quite sure who it is. Gavin Toole, I think he's looking for. Must have been some sort of interference there. Gavin is getting a yellow card. Twelve minutes gone in the second half. Only six points between them. Nothing, nothing that's not insurmountable at all. Uh, Aidan Owen with the kick. Uh, 60 yards out from his own goal. And he gives a great ball into Davy Rick's hands. Davy Rick slips. Ball falls away. Colin Farrell has it. Colin Farrell gives a great ball in. Heady, or Patrick Holman. Patrick Holman lets it fall out of his hands. That was a great ball if we hadn't been able to hold on to it. Colin Farrell coming out. Uh, uh, Adam Hogan. Uh, Kyle Learn. Coming away with it. Eddie Dunbar. Fouls. <sighs> Kyle Nearns to restart her again. This is where they're at their dangerous. There's no one inside our 21 bar. Martin O'Connor and Mahi Ford. And that's real danger for us. So they're playing around out here. Peter Hughes deemed for over carrying there, a bit harsh call I thought. He's not happy, so it's brought up 10 yards. Aiden now is taking it from the midfield. We need to get an outscore there quick on the board. Sean Kenny is in and on the full forward line. A tall man. Sean Kenny is under. Davy Rick is over the break. No, Sean breaks it down, but Davy wasn't able to get to it. Kyle Lynn come away with the ball. Well done, Davy. How's him up well? Dean to be a free. Colm Kavner. Colm Kavner's having a great game. Uh, ball is out the field and John Axon, he gets a touch to it. Uh, Josh Martin picks it off the room and gets away with it. Josh Martin comes down the field. Caught a hand once. Gives it out to John Dunn. John Dunn to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly to John Dunn. John Dunn doesn't get it but uh, Josh Martin does it. The pass went behind John Dunn. Uh, out to Davy Rick. Davy Rick has a look up. 
Throw the hand once and he could be going to shoot. No. Turns around. Gives it out to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell to Owen Kelly. We need to get it across into the danger zone there and get an out score. We have Josh Martin back out farther here now. Colin Farrell goes, goes around one man. Goes out between two more. Jersey pulled and he gets a free in. Never said I'd be Colin Farrell. Colin Nairn following the Laha lads back that time, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, the Laha lads back. Yeah. If we can keep the pressure on him, we might get a few breaks in the last 10 minutes, might yeah. be John. Oh, yeah. That's what we have to hope for now. Ticking away again. Yeah, yeah, keep chipping away at our score there. If Aidan can get this one over now, get back to five points. It's surely not undoable, is it? Fifteen minutes gone with a halfway mark and we're two goals down. Hopefully this will make it five points down. Hayden steps up, right on the 21. Gets a great kick, adding us over the centre of the uh, crossbar again. Excellent score. Five points in over 15 minutes to go. We hope our fitness will tell here now. Give it a, a lash to the finish. Tom Hughes setting up with the kick out with the tee. A lot of space here. John Dunn has gone to midfield, I think. Mark him on the midfielders. Kyle Nairn coming away again. Peter putting the pressure on. Owen Kelly putting the pressure on. Peter putting more pressure on. Kyle Nairn playing back, looking for that gap. Brendan Hobbs. Niall Hughes. Niall Hughes coming away with it. Playing a long ball up along. Him. Adam Hogan. Adam Hogan, Dean Toole. Dean Toole has it. Plays the ball across. Peter Hughes coming through. Peter Hughes going to the danger zone. Peter Hughes gives it a shot on wide. He wasn't, Peter wasn't too sure what he was doing there. I say he was hoping to give it a Mahi, but didn't work out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, in fairness, was more of a midfielder than a forward in his day. We'll say. Patrick Hadden with the kick out again. Quick kick out to John Axe. John Axon chased by Mahi Ford. He goes around him. He gives it to Adam, uh, jo Adam, or um, Josh Martin, sorry. Josh Martin back to Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan coming away with the ball. We need to create the overlap. Aidan keeps coming away. Well done by Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell goes around one man, goes around two men. Colin Farrell makes the gap. He's looking for the pass it. He's looking up. And a great ball into Peter. And an excellent ball into Peter. Peter goes around him. He's in the hunt for a penalty, but... He's dragged, pulled. Eddie Dunbar has it. Eddie Dunbar gives it out. Score for Patrick Coleman. And a great score for Patrick Coleman. And we have it back to four points. 1-8 to 3-6. Well won. Yeah. Three, le three lose around him. Yeah. He tried for the penalty first. That wasn't working. He allowed him to move on. <laughs> Tom, Tom Hughes with the kick out. And up goes uh, John Dunn, or Josh Martin, comes, comes over great. Uh, Billy Kelly gives it out to uh, uh, Eddie Dunbar. Eddie Dunbar to Aiden Nolan, and he loves in another great ball to Peter. Peter is on the end of it, and Kyle Nairn gets a fist hold. Brendan Hobbs gets a fist hold there, and has gone out for a 50. Uh, but Claudia with all the pressure on now. The one thing I will say, Liam, is I was just talking to the Kyle Nairn boys there, and they're exceptionally afraid of the Bontoli lads to say our youth. Uh, it's a major factor because they're a very old team and on top of that we are creating chances and that is true we are creating there's only four points in it we're coming at them if we just get a break we're going to score yeah well we're hoping there we can stay in the home for the last 10 minutes we have, we have the legs on the last 10 minutes if we can keep the pressure on I think you're dead right yeah. I, we always are fearful that they're very clever in yeah. terms with Manny Ford they've always a chance of getting a goal on yeah. the break Aidan Nolman thanks very much Rory Aidan Nolman with the kick the 50 gets a great lash of her but she's going to the right and wide uh, uh, 1 8 to 3 6, 3 6, 15 points to 12, or 15 points to 11, 4 points in. Away we go again. We've all the pressure on now, we're going to attack on another couple of old scores. Kyle Nearn warming up their subs. Tom Hughes with the kick out. Out she goes, and Aiden is up, gets a hand on Sean Kenny's up. John Dunn is up. Aiden wins it, gives it out to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly, the quick ball out to Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny throws the hand once. Throw the hand twice. Has a look up. Gives it across to the great Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell won't be satisfied unless he goes around this lad. He takes him on the outside. Takes him again. He looks up. He shoots and has gone to the left hand side of the post. Never said I'd be Colin Farrell. 
Away we go. We're creating lots of chances now. We can keep tipping away at those score. See Pat Ford calling the sub here. Tom Hughes looking for the kick it. But Claudie marking up tight, keeping the pressure on. Colin Farrell is under. Colin Farrell wins the great ball. Takes the mark. Gives a quick ball into the great Peter. Peter. Oh, Peter gets it. Oh, Peter's semi foul. <laughs> Away we go. Kyle Learn on the run. Owen Kelly. Davy Rick. All oh, chasing. Patrick Coleman. Well done. Everyone getting in. Shoulder to the wheel. Billy Kelly getting in there. The ref is even getting in the way. Great ball into the great Mahi again. Mahi gets it on his chest. Turns and might be skewed out wide with a bit of luck. And it goes wide on the far side. 20 minutes gone. Four points in and Kyle introducing the sub. Emmett O'Toole. What Rory? We're after hearing 35, 36. Well, Wikipedia says he's six foot five, but he's not. But uh, Seamus Hughes is telling me he's actually 38 years of age. He's some footballer. Matty Ford. Matty Ford. Aye. 30 years of age. Great man. And we have a great man coming on ourselves. Keith O'Hara is in. A trainer. And workaholic. And he's going in centre forward and Owen Kelly is going in corner forward and Davy Rick is taking a break. Uh, Peter Hughes, former great midfielder for Kyle Nearn in the heady days. And is it Niall Hughes? Wins it? Is it Niall Hughes? Yes, Niall Hughes wins a great ball. He gives it into Mahi Ford again. The ball hops. Uh, Mahi looks for the free. John Axe trying to lay it over the line and he just about makes it. And away we go again. Kevin Carty didn't fall for that one for Mahi. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Patrick Cabin again. Out towards John Dunn, Sean Kenny and Adam, Adam or Josh Martin. Sean Kenny is up. Breaks to John Dunn. John Dunn has it. John Dunn wins a great free. Quick ball again. Up to Aiden Nolan. Aiden Nolan uh, right on the 70 yard line from his own goal. Aiden the semi full pulled once, rounds one lad and pulled again. Aiden wins a free. On their 70. Quick ball in, quick ball into Peter has been held in and Peter wins a great ball. Cuts, cuts inside one line, cuts inside line and wins a great free. Excellent stuff by Peter Axon. And a brilliant ball. Bra yeah. Brilliant ball by Aiden Old. Drilled through Aiden a one on one lad, hopped off one lad. Think it was a pinball machine there. He's working, working great. Looking for the ball the whole time. And we have Aiden Old come up take a 21 yards free to reduce the gap even further, we're hoping. Brendan Daly is out on the field. Nice pair of legs, John. Yeah, yeah. Aiden steps up. Great kicking over the bar. Oh. One nine to one Claudie, three six to three six. One score in it. Twenty-five is coming on for Kyle Nairn. Twenty-five is Tommy Bold. Most of these lads on the Kyle Nairn team of senior medals, they're all seasoned campaigners. Uh, they're joined with Tara Rocks this year and there will be a few Tara Rocks lads, but they were mostly hurlers. And a kick out from Tom Hughes. Out she comes. Colin Farrell is under. Colin Farrell gets a great pass to it. Yeah, your man, Niall Hughes, still managed to hold on to it. Kyle Nairn come away up along the end line. Aidan Jones. Aidan Jones. Throw the hand twice. Gives it in. Gives it into the sub. Sub parts it back out the field. Niall Hughes coming through. He's looking for a free. Trying to bar. And uh, well, Josh Martin does great work. Excellent. Josh, unfortunately, hadn't the energy to step on it. Stoop on it. Yeah. Eddie Dunbar is going ahead, some are stopped, some are going. This will be a great time to give it inside. Oh! Ah, yes! Oh, what a rasper! An absolute rasper! Yeah. Some stopped, some kept going. Eddie Dunbar kept going, giving it to Sean Kenny. And he scored an absolute rasper to put it level pegging. 2-9 to 3-6. And we're back well in the hunt here again. This is what we're looking for the last few minutes. We think we might have those legs to keep our going. We have Rory Murphy here there. I, I tell you, everybody stopped. I stopped. Our players almost oh, stopped. This, comment, this commentator didn't stop. 
In fairness, <laughs> and, and, and the ref, the ref, the ref is over negotiating. <laughs> Kyle Lear, no complaint, put up the green flag, and away we go. The referee said play on, yeah. he kept watching him, he said play on, we played on and we scored. Away we go. 2-9 to 3-6. We can't beat the young legs. We're back in the hunt again. Look, there's never any harm. What do you think there, John? Oh, it was a great score, you know. Excellent I mean. ball, wasn't it? That's it? Kick out by Tom Hughes. Up we go again. Breaks down to Billy Kelly. Billy Kelly wins it. He comes away. Throw the hand once, throw the hand twice. Gives it out to the... Aidan Nolan, Aidan Nolan. Josh Martin, Josh Martin is after having an outstanding game. Back to Aidan Nolan again. Aiden has a look up, gives a great ball into John Dunn. John Dunn, refreshed legs. Away he goes. He passes his own 50. Throw the hand three times. Throw the hand four times. Takes a shot. And she's gone to the left of the post and wide. Hard look. Away we go again. That's all but Claudia at the minute. Kyle Lerner hoping on his counter attack. But Claudia of all the legs. Although we one lad down there suffering from cramp. Josh Martin and Josh is after doing some going. Yeah, yeah. Ball is kicked out again. Aidan Nolan wins it. He throw the hand twice, and I, I don't know what sort of a kick it was, but John Dunn bends down on his hands on the ground. Sean Kenny is in over it. Ball breaks. Kyle Nearn win it. Yeah, hand pass it out. Aidan Jones have it. Come up along the line here. He gives a great ball up to Niall Hughes. Niall Hughes throw the hand once. Keith O'Hara is after him. Keith O'Hara gets a bit of a drag on him. He's, and Eddie Dunbar gets in the great play. And Niall Hughes kicks an excellent score. It's by the attention of Keith O'Hara and Eddie Dunbar. A great tackle by Eddie Dunbar. And even that. And a great score by Niall Hughes to put Coney Ireland one point back in front. Great score. Kick out by Patrick Cabner. Patrick out. Out to Patrick Holman. He wins it on his chest. Wins the mark. He's looking up. Great ball down the field, Owen Kelly, Owen Kelly wins it. He's uh, no, he's not out, he's not out. And he wins a free. <sighs> he won't pardon, we might get 10 yards out of it. <sighs> Aidan Jones is down. How are we doing time wise there, John? 26 minutes gone. 26 minutes gone. Aiden scored all these square ones again that everybody he gives it to Colin Farrell. He's our partner. Colin Farrell gives it back to Aiden. Aiden is 21 yards off his own end line. He has to look up. He's going to take a shot if he gets a bit of a hand. It slips from his hand. He's held tackled by Kyle Nearn again. He goes down looking for free. Nothing happening. Owen Kelly. Owen, Owen Kelly is team for hitting your man in the front. Away we come again. Kyle Nearn with a Coming away. 16 points to 15. Paid back to Tom Hughes. Tom Hughes. Eddie Dunbar thing. Eddie Dunbar is running out with legs. He's under pressure. Lots of after doing a power go on. Aiden Nolan is putting the pressure on. They're all putting the pressure on. <laughs> Where they come? Kyle Lear coming down the field. Hughes and all their old craft and experience. Trying to get that ball down to, to the forward line. Number 19 gives a great ball into Matty Ford. <laughs> Matty Ford, a chip pick up. Martin O'Connor won't let him through. And Martin O'Connor. Matty never rose his head and he bored through. And Martin was dealing to put his. A very poor decision by Kevin Carty there, I'd have to say. Marty, uh, um, Matty, of course, using all his experience. Not, a, not an easy score, no mind you. She's uh, on the 21 and it's, it's halfway up in the sideline in the goalpost. But uh, not beyond Matty's uh, ability. But Matty, opposite to leave it, to, must be a left foot kicker, uh, Mark Boland. Mark Boland steps up to take it. A great shot and a great score. Two points down with many minutes to go, John. We're trying a quick kick out. Three minutes to go, John says, the quick kick out. Kevin Carty doesn't allow it. No, there weren't much stoppages. Number 10 is coming on. Garrod O'Sullivan coming on for Kyle Nearn.
Patrick Kevin with the kick out. Out towards Aiden. Aiden is under. Aiden is up for it. Kyle Hughes is up. Aiden bounces away Aiden's hands. Falls to Kyle Learn. Number 25, the sub wins it. See on the ground. Kyle Learn come away again. She's bobbing around in there. Plays it back to the captain. The captain, Niall Hughes, takes another pot. And a great shot and a great score by Niall Hughes. Excellent score by Niall Hughes. The Kyle Learn man down, doing the die. Kevin Carr, he's not buying into it, I think. <sighs> 30 minutes are up and, and the killing killing with stoppage here. The umpire see nothing, John Carden see nothing, no one see nothing. He might be just trying to burn up a bit of old time, we don't know. He's not dead anyway. Ah, he's all right again. Kyle Learn warming up another sub, number 18. Dennis Jones. Patsy Cabin with a kick out. Out she comes to the far side of the field and up close. Sean Kenny with a great, great, great. Colin Farrell wins a great ball. He passes one man, he passes two men. Out to Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny's traveling through the middle. Eddie Dunbar or Patrick Common in the middle. Hey, he gives it to Aiden Nolan in the middle. Aiden Nolan to Patrick Common. Patrick Common has a look up. Gives it up to Aiden Nolan again. What is a great goal! An excellent goal by Aiden Nolan. 30 yards out. What a score! 3 9 to 3 9. And we're, we're there, thereabouts again. Straight between the goalkeeper. Uh, straight between the legs. A pile drive by Aiden Nolan. What better man to have the, What better man to have a ball in his hand? On the 21, he shoots through two Kyle Learn and through Tom Hughes' legs. And it's level pagan. Excellent stuff. No more than we deserve. The kick out comes from Tom Hughes. Up goes Sean Kenny. The ball. Ball breaks to Aiden Nolan. Aiden Nolan gives a great ball. Oh! <sighs> <sighs> the Lord. Now don't foul him. Uh, don't foul him. And Colin Farrell gets back. Great tackling. Kevin Carty could blow it up. All over. Ha oh, ha, you boys. Great stuff by Bon Claudio. What do you get at, John? Oh, great game, great game. You had a bit of luck in the end now, in fairness. But yeah. Andy Kenny told me once, he said, you make your own luck. Ah, you do indeed. <laughs> you know, we fought hard, we kept fighting. Yeah, you know, yeah. after the poor start of the second half, yeah. like, the Mahi Ford show there for a few minutes. But, like, in fairness, the lads dug deep. We got back in the game. You know, I, I thought the, the, work, the work rate of the young lads, as I said before, there weren't, none of the young guys were phased by the occasion or anything like that, you know. It's the work rate all over the field, boys, you know, and great, great performance. Ten minutes of extra time coming up, John? Yeah, I think hopefully we'll see that. Time. Extra time, yeah, yeah. You won't be charging more. Heavy, <laughs> heavy, 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 heavy. Well, Rory, how'd you get out? Get over here. How'd you get out, Rory? I'm, I can't say I've seen a better game of football in years. That was amazing. My heart has been hurting always, but I have to say, football, when it's played like that, is a brilliant game. Our lads, the young lads, have no fear. They kept going. We got a bit of a break, but Aiden Noll is the sort of fellow that goes for that. And in fairness, we absolutely deserve a draw. I was talking to Kyle Nearn as there. They're thrilled with the Buntoli guys. They reckon we were without a shadow of a doubt absolutely deserving of it that we were more consistent they have a bit more experience our young fellas don't care they just have what youth always had no worries no no fear no worries and the halfway house going to the year back on the map there thereabouts hey, 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 i'm uh, thrilled for them i'm absolutely uh, thrilled for them I'm uh, brilliant. you'd be hoping looking from a purely uh halfway house but perspective that the legs might carry us through a little bit better well, without a shadow, Sorry. without the, the, the legs are huge. I mean, the, the pure youth. But it wasn't just the physical, it was the mental attitude yeah. of a young fella that doesn't care. They don't worry about stuff. Yeah. They don't care no matter when they were down. They came back and scored three good points. The doobies about some of the decisions at all. I thought Matty Ford was bull But our lads didn't care. Yeah. They just kept coming back. Fair play to him. Brilliant. I'm delighted for him. Thrilled. I don't care what happens the next day. They made a mark today. Fair play to him. Huh? It's extra time. Extra time, yeah. So we've extra time, uh, we've two ten minutes of extra time coming up there, so we're over now just to get a, a large bottle or something in the main time. Good.
We're back here again for the extra time, two ten minutes, and uh, to try and divide these boys. So it's two ten minutes. Is it not the? As Pat Murphy, our PRO, announcing that the second game is at four fifteen now. Um, so we've two ten minutes of extra time. If there's no winner in that, then we go to penalties, and if we don't find a winner in that, then I think it's starts or something like that for a finish up. So the ref is clearing the field here. Everyone mad to go. A great finish to the game, great excitement. 3 9 to 3 9. Um, Shells and the Martins are playing in the county semi final of senior football replay uh, directly after us. <coughs> Kevin Carty, we we'll get the proceedings going again. <coughs> Kyle Learn have won all the throws in so far, so we'll be hoping maybe we could win this one. Start off on the right foot. Away we go, up she goes. Niall Hughes and Aiden Nolan's up for Aiden Nolan, and Niall Hughes wins a great ball. Passes out by Kevin Dunn, or John Dunn. John Dunn gives a great ball down the field and. And then someone must have tackled him late there because uh, Niall Hughes is deemed to be a uh, late tackle, so there's a free from. No, free from Mary Keaton. No, free from Mary Land. Matty Ford. Uh, halfway is between the 21 and the 50, and about 20 yards in the far sideline of the road, and he's about to kick it. And that familiar stance seems to be a bit of a spin on and it goes wide. Not like Mahi to kick any of them wide. So she stands at 3 9 apiece still. Yeah. Oh, that was scoring, yeah. The black card, I will have to get on the Ryan there. The black card is working, six goals scored in the match. James Moorhead is on there. Kick out, James Moorhead is on for Jose on for John. And a great catch by Niall Hughes again. James Moorhead is in the game. And Kyle Nearn come away with the ball. Colin Farrell chasing him down. He's out to Mahi Ford, recycling Mahi Ford is in the line side. He is a dummy, he is a great dummy, and he hand passes it and it's over the bar. A great scoring opportunity there for Mahi, he just couldn't get out the, the boot there to pull the trigger. And he, he boxes it over the bar, he no support coming in. So James Moorhead is in the centre back, we think, is he? Is he John? Or maybe midfield? He looks midfield, yeah. We'll follow the play here there, and John will figure out who's gone off. And the kick could be Josh Martin. Josh Martin was struggling with cramps there. Uh, Adam Hogan gets a fist of the ball, breaks in around the middle. Kyle Nearn come away with it. Great interpassing there between Colin Kavner and and then Adam Hogan is in there, throwing his body in on the line there. James Moorhead is in there. John Dunn is in there. John Dunn is in the foul. Got his arms looking foul enough. Yeah, Josh Martin has gone off there with the cramps. And Kyle Learn played the ball, played the ball into Mahi again out on the far sideline. Throw the hand once, has a look around, offloads it. Out around to, to Niall Breen. 
Now he'll bring former uh, county goalkeeper, Colin Cavanagh going through with the ball. Uh, a great... A, a great... A great kick by Garrodo Sullivan. Patrick Cavanagh catches on the crossbar and he gives it out to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell gives it away to uh, Niall Breen again. Niall Breen has it across the field. Uh, Rizzoli. Rizzoli gives it in. Keith O'Hara is back there. James Moorhead is back there. Well, uh, Ricochet is off a great. Uh, Pat O'Connor gets his hand over, breaks to John Axe. John Axe comes away with it. Left foot. So gives it out to Aidan Nolan. Aidan Nolan to John Dunn. John Dunn to Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell with a quick ball down to Aidan. Or Peter. Peter, to, Peter is. Oh, he wins a great ball. <coughs> Has a look up. Runs out of ideas. Gives a great ball forward to Eddie Dunbar. Eddie Dunbar. Or Owen Kelly it is. Owen Kelly turns and kicks the ball over the bar. Excellent score. <coughs> Uh, Brendan Hobbs won the ball, but whatever way, hopped out his hand for a second. Peter ended up with it behind him. Gives a great ball into Owen Kelly, and Owen Kelly puts the ball over the bar. Uh. Tom Hughes with a great kick out again. Up to Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny wins the, wins the mark. Gives it into Aiden. And a big collision there with Aiden. Aiden comes off the worst of it. Puntori wins the ball. Keith O'Hara, Colin Farrell, Eddie Dunbar, John Dunn, John Dunn, Owen Kelly, after scoring one already, his dander is up, Tom Hughes, Peter Axe is in there under Tom Hughes, <sighs> Kyle Lern break away with the ball. Aidan Owen is down injured here. He went into a heavy tackle there. Ball broke and Buntlody won it. But he, he came off second best. Darren is in there. He's not too happy. Uh, he's not too bad. Uh, heavy old shot, yeah. The Davy Fitzgerald train there is after hardening him up a bit there. He's on the ball. And Aiden away we go again. We need Aiden back out in the middle of the park there and make sure everything keeps ticking along. Kyle Learn take an indirect free. The boys are under a heavy instruction to keep him marked up. Peter's going to tackle Tom Hughes. Tom Hughes gets around. Goes out. Plays it off. Aidan Jones. Throw the hand once. Throw the hand twice. Coming away still. Gives a pass. To Kyle Learn trying to create the overlap. Uh, Run into a bit of traffic there. Get it back to the midfield again to their captain, Colin Cavanagh, Colin Cavanagh. Oh, and a great interception by Keith O'Hara. Keith O'Hara to Aidan Noll. Aidan Noll turns around, has a look up, gives it to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly gives a great ball out to Eddie Dunbar. Opens up a bit of space. Mahi, Mahi Ford is back in the full back lane, would you believe? Eddie Dunbar goes around one lad. Patrick Howman is inside him. Patrick Howman's inside him. Mahi Ford swings him around the neck of Mahi. Uh, Eddie Dunbar. Should have given the ball into Patrick Coleman, but instead of that, he went into the tackle and Mahi done what any lad to do. He swung around to make it sure he wouldn't go through. Uh, Eddie Dunbar then retaliated, and I hope uh, Kevin Carty doesn't take that into consideration. Mahi's going to get a yellow card. He, uh, Mahi will live with that now. Cause I, was, I was going to be a goal otherwise. There is actually three Kyle men now. Three of them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John thinks their age is shown here and he doesn't think they're getting enough eggs anyway, not getting enough protein. <laughs> Aiden has the ball, 22 yards out from the goal. 3 10 to 3 10. Seven minutes gone. Still level. Can't be separated. Nothing about the retaliation anyway, and away we go. Aiden steps up. Nice chip and a nice over the bar. Halfway house, but Claudia 311. Uh, Kyle Nearn 310. Tom Hughes with the kick out. Uh, 
Long ball out to the middle of the park again. Paddock Holman's under. And a well grabbed by Niall Hughes. Excellent catch. John Dunn was trying to break it from Brady Warrenfield. John Dunn holds him up. 10 yards. Uh, he's got a midfield partner. Uh, Niall Breen has gone down the far side. And Niall Breen gets the pass. Niall Breen. Niall Breen to Niall Hughes. Back he, kind of back as a there yeah. the James Mohead puts him under heavy pressure. Slowing down the thing a bit. The man kicks it at him. Moves up 10 yards, well within Mahi's range here now. James Moorhead fell for that one badly. The man Lahan, he was trying to uh, take a free, but he wasn't. Uh, and put it within range. Still not a handy one, she's 35 yards out. Well, again, he kicks it as 30. And Mackey kicks to the right hand side to post the wide. But Lowell, you need to turn the screws now and have a bit of go on. Kyle Aaron waiting to bring on a sub. Number 18. Number 18, Dennis Jones. He came in before there. Patrick Cabinet with the kick out. Up goes Sean Kenny. Oh, and an excellent catch. Excellent catch there by Dean Toll. Dean Toll is fouled. Now he goes with a long ball over to Mahi. And next, and Martin O'Connor gets his hand to it. An excellent touch by Martin O'Connor. That should be a line ball to Kyle Nearn. It is. Matty has the ball. Plays it across. Oh, dangerous ball. James Murray. Oh, and a, uh, and a great save by... Excellent, excellent save by Patrick Cabinet. Excellent. James Murray fell at the last minute. And a great kick by Kyle Nearn, but a great save by Patrick Cabinet. Uh, who was the... Uh, Billy Kelly? Martin O'Connor. coming away with the ball. He, he's, 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 he's dispossessed. But we're fighting hard. We're not letting Kyle Nearn go. Uh, the hold up again Kyle Learn come away with the ball again Kyle Learn looking for the equaliser coming up to half time Sean Kenny gets a touch of it and Sean Kenny gets an extra shoulder doesn't let him up an excellent ball by Sean Kenny first over the line excellent shoulder charge by Sean Kenny this is where our fitness is coming in now uh, another Another Kyle Learman semi injured. Is De Dennis Jones is in again. That was an excellent passage of play there. Wasn't it, yeah? So the ball fell back to Martin O'Connor. We started to build up from the 21 yard line. Away we go. Matty is a bit farther out from the goal this time, so that's all the better for his 50 yards out from the goal at the minute. Played to Sean Kenny, Martin O'Connor to Sean Kenny. Sean Kenny rounds one man. Gives it to the captain, John Axe. John Axe with a great ball up to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly wins a great ball. Goes around Aidan Jones. Halfway around him. Aidan gets a bit of a pull on him. He's fouled. Ten minutes are up, please. Ten minutes are up. I wonder will Aidan be forced to uh, kick the Aussies over direct? Wouldn't be, wouldn't be beyond them anyway. No. Not at all. Aiden takes an great scores from all angles and distance. Yeah. So he's about three yards in from the sideline, the far side of the field, and he's yeah, he's 44 yards out from the goal. Lots of looseness in around the square. Keith O'Hara's in on the edge of the square. A lot of big Kyle Yearn men in there though. So maybe over the bar is the best option if he's able to do it. Aiden comes up. Takes a pot at her. She's going to the left-hand side of the post and wait. And it's half-time as well. So we'll go into the break. 3-11 to 3-10. What do you think, John? Well, it was a very spirited performance there by Buntrody. I thought they'd done very well in extra time. You know, it's... Hopefully their youthfulness and fitness will stand to them now, you know. Yep. The game is not as, uh, the last 10 minutes haven't been as fast as the previous. Uh, no, maybe. it seems to be slowing yeah. down. Yeah, There's, yeah. you know, Kyle Nearn and a slower build up, yeah. uh, you know, so. We're no better, maybe. Ah, sure. It's extra time. It's, it was a very intense game, like, you know, a very lively game, very good game up to now, so. Nah, he's keep going, is it, Liam? Well, we just get Rory. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. I could do with some honey. Yeah, yeah. We get Rory Oak on the job here when he's on Twitter and there. Have Rory for his comments there. What do you think there, Rory? He's sending out the music to the world. 
Yeah, it's it, obviously it's got a bit more nervy in in extra time. Uh, obviously, the, the other side of the coin is that the, the lads are getting a little bit tired on both sides of the team. Patrick Adner stopping a point could be vital. That sort of stuff is very important in a very tight game. Uh, Aiden had the distance there, time for the, the free out from the wing. Sadly, didn't go over. But we're doing well. Just keep it going. We're not lying down. There's no worry about Kyle Nearn and Manny Ford. All that stuff has gone out of the heads. These lads just don't care. And if they keep that attitude, don't care, and just keep playing the football that they know they can play, they're going to be in with a shout. And who knows? Very good. Uh, Buntlody and Kyle Nearn staying on the field there uh, for this. Uh, there's only a, a small break between this. Shemmy Kelly's in the middle of the derby end. Uh, throwing in his tuppence worth. Uh, Brendan Daly, uh, Dennis Finn and Keith O'Hara, the management. And uh, the lads are there for a few years with the exception of Shemmy who's only come in this year uh, for Parik Roberts. So the lads are after putting in an excellent stint of work there over the years. And uh, hopefully they'll get the rewards today. Uh, we won the under 16 uh, round one final today. Uh, beating Horswood in a, an epic battle in uh, in Patrick Park on our way down, so the future looks bright. We got beaten the other night in on the 14 final, uh, so uh, if we can get this up to senior ranks, I don't think we'll be over that. Lots of young lads coming through. We're in the minor county semi final in the Premier, an excellent minor team, an excellent minor team last year. So uh, lots of good lads. The bangers going off. The celebrations are starting already. So the subs and the mentors leaving the field. Kevin Carty getting ready for the second part of extra time. And uh, I must say, even from uh, if I was a neutral, I'd say Kyle Nearn are feeling the pressure more than Bunt Lodi. Uh, they're, they're, they're hardier lads and they're finding they're going to be tough and a lot of lads going off injured and half injured. We, John Mar Josh Martin, going off injured. So Kevin Carty about to start the replay. We've yet to win a throw-in. Maybe we want to win this one. Niall Hughes up Aiden Nolan's up and Aiden Nolan does a great ball out. John Dunn for this one. John Dunn comes away. Throw the hand once. Throw the hand twice. County minor last year. Gets a great ball in around the house. Peter Axe. One chipping into the hand. Peter Canavan. Style. Peter. Oh, he gives an awkward ball. But Colin Farrell gets a hand to it and gives it back to Peter. Peter is pulled. He gets it out again. Peter is getting lots of pulling and dragging. But he's, he's equal to the task. Gives it out. Uh, long ball Eddie Dunbar is in Eddie Dunbar gets a hand to it Kyle Nearn come away with the ball Kyle Nearn on the halfway line Niall Hughes Aidan Nolan brings him down yeah I think uh, he's a cramp I'd say yeah an important 10 minutes for the club John I think I think it'd be great if we could go senior. I think oh, I, I think, think it's just yeah. the right time for us, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah well, as you said, a lot of young players coming up. Yeah. We're in Premier and minor, and yeah. we're in the semi final of that. They're on their 16s, one round one today. The next one. Great, yeah. Horace Wood, you know. So. Yeah. Bartley Regan, Brian Kavner, uh, Jerome, Jerome McDonald, McDonald, and Mihal Mann. Mihal Mann was a, the mentors there and done an excellent job. Uh, and Paul Martin and John Niall, who's in a bad way here, uh, seems to be cramped out completely, and he'd be an awful loss to Kyle Nearn, an inter county, a senior inter county player. Ball is played back and away we go again. Kyle Nearn come away with the ball. They're on phase, but they're losing the county man. Gives a great ball up. Number 10, Gerard O'Sullivan. Gerard O'Sullivan. Hello again. They're looking at the overlap, they have the overlap. Our lads, careful not to foul on, our lads do excellent defending. And number 19, and it's a great score by number, number 19, Emma Hull gets a great score. Level again. The kick out now from Patrick Kavner. Patrick with a kick out. She's high and she's up. Adam Hogan is under. Kyle Norton with a kick out. Kyle Norton getting through. Plays a wide ball to Mahi Ford. Mahi Ford out. Bounce from Mahi's hands to Billy Kelly. Billy Kelly will. Two lads on him in fairness. 
Billy Kelly and Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor comes into the way of ball. Out to Sean Hope. Martin O'Connor keeps running. Martin O'Connor gets it back again. Past him. He's gone through the midfield. Gone through the middle. Sean Kenny has gone through the middle. Oh, John Dunn has gone through the middle. The ball is beaten back up. Highly, out to Peter Axe. John Dunn is calling for Hover in, uh, in front of the post. Peter Axe wins, scoops it up into the sword. Peter Axe is going around one man. Peter Axe is dispossessed. Sean Kenny is in. Sean Kenny is in with a tackle. Clear down the field. Out to the sideline, but it kept in play. Kyle Nearn come down the field. Long ball. Down towards Mahi. The bounce. Martin gets up. Mahi wins a great ball. Martin O'Connor, Billy Kelly dispossessed Ah. Uh, Mahi gets a harmless old free. Uh, but that's the way. Great head on his shoulders. Level pegging and Mahi plays the ball across. Gets it back. Patrick Homer gets in a hand. Kyle Learn going to take a shot. Ah, oh, and a great tackle. Excellent tackle by Billy Kelly there. Just enough to throw it off target. Kyle Learn here in numbers. Lots of lads. Eddie Dunbar. She goes high up in the sky. Colin Farrell is under. Someone gets a fist to it. And a great, a great score by the captain, Colin Kavner. Excellent score. A goal scorer and captain. Kyle Learn have lads down injured. Montlody have lads down injured. Uh, Eddie Dunbar is cramping. Four and a half minutes gone. <coughs> Five and a half to go. We need to book out to, uh, Martin O'Connor. Martin O'Connor comes away with it. Throw the hand once. James Moorhead. James Moorhead comes away with it. Gives it to Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly coming down the far side of the lane. Gives a great ball. Down to John Dunn. John Dunn throw the hand once. Covering great count. Throw the hand twice. Has a look across. Gives a great ball across. Just goes a bit on Colin Kavner. Uh, Eddie Dunbar could be in bother here. Pull down Colin Kavner. Eddie Dunbar will get a yellow card for that, it's it. 3.11 to 3.12. Want to keep her head on her shoulders. The ball was down there. <coughs> Kevin Carty dishes out a yellow card. Kyle Learn of lads down all over the field under heavy pressure. Bringing in out subs trying to keep the job going. Bobby Hughes is going to come back in shortly. Kyle Learn restart the play. Play back to Tom Hughes. Aiden Jones coming down the line. Goes back again. Kyle Lear holding on to the ball. Owen Kelly is playing uh, an extra centre back. Kyle Lear coming to the ball. Owen will go to meet him. Owen will go to meet him. Martin O'Connor does great work. Doesn't buy it. Owen Kelly wins a great ball. Martin O'Connor done great work. Owen Kelly comes away with it. Quick ball by Owen Kelly. Out to James Moorhead. James Moorhead comes away with the ball. James Moorhead wins a great ball. <sighs> Eddie Dunbar. Up along the line. Eddie Dunbar lets a bounce. Cuts inside him, man. Cuts outside him. Throw the hand once. Throw the hand twice. Runs into Ed Noel. Goes around him again. Gives it out to James Moorhead. James Moorhead has a look up. James Moorhead has a pot shot. Peter is in there. Peter gets his fist on. Keith O'Hara gets his hand on. Eddie Dunbar gets his hand to it. Eddie Dunbar is going through. Eddie Dunbar, high near intercept. <laughs> Kyle Lear coming away. That could be the danger of Arthur for Kyle Lear. <laughs> They're keeping, can keep ball. <laughs> oh, it breaks again. John Dunn wins a great ball. Gets that hand to it. Plays back to Kyle Learn. Sean Kenny puts in the tackle. John Axe puts in the tackle. Colin Farrell. Try is the might. They're not lacking for effort anyway. Kyle Learn tried to come away, but they can't get down the field. But he's putting awful pressure on them. They still have the ball though. Pass left in her, John. Three minutes. 
Three minutes left. Kyle Lear on the attack. One point up. 2017 in the major final. Important Peter Axel's there. Hope he don't foul. Gets, gets away with it. Three again, Kyle Lear. Don't know how it's far. No one worried. Great tackling, great determination by Peter. Way up the field. James Moorhead wins the ball. Gives it out to Owen Kelly, you'd imagine. No, gives it out to Keith O'Hara. Keith O'Hara. Keith O'Hara gives it out to John Dunn. John Dunn gives it out to Keith O'Hara again. Has a look up. Quick ball down the line. Colin Farrell. What better man could get? Surely go around his man. Has a look. Plays it back out to Sean Kenny. In the middle of the park. Opens it up big and comes from the other side. Sean Kenny to Aidan Noll. Aidan Noll has a look up. Takes a shot. She looks to be well wide. Yeah, even missed the barrier. Uh, Mark Sheen is back in the game for the last two minutes. Seeking to pull something out of the fire. Uh, we need to get the kick out. Win this one, the big well, eh? Yeah, we need this one out. Keep the pressure on Kyle Lear. 3-12 to Kyle Lear, 3-11 the bunch of the ball is teed out. Paddock Holman is under. Paddock Holman, uh, no, Kyle Lear win it. <laughs> Kyle Lear come down the field. Another attack. Kyle Lear have a two or three lads player. <sighs> Abelli gets in a great tackle. Out to Matty Ford. And a great block down. Martin O'Connor. And another excellent score. Excellent score by Colin Cavanagh again. Is it Colin Cavanagh? Maybe he's not. An excellent score by... I think it is. John Axon takes the title of the... Adam Hogan wins a great ball. We're coming away again. We're not giving up. Patrick Combe. Long ball up. Eddie Dunbar is under. Kyle Lear come away with the ball. Peter Axon... Peter Axon fouls him. Pressure is on us, pressure is on us. Peter goes into the book. Not for his first time. And hardly his last. <laughs> Peter's after having a great year, hurling football. A great year. Travelling home from London or England every weekend, trying to stay fit and tune in, it's not easy. We need to get another ball though. Don't foul, don't foul. That's it, that's it. Kyle Lear coming in waves again. Get a great ball down the field. Waiting for the man to run. Wide enough. How are we doing time, wise John? Uh, I should have time. We're in extra time. We're in extra time. You're not allowed to pick it out. Pick it out from Patrick Captain to Marcheen. Marcheen to James Moore. Time is up. So we need a goal. Owen Kelly. John Axon. Captain is coming down the field. Owen Kelly. Owen Kelly has fouled three lads lying on him. Back to John Axon. Referee is looking at his watch. I don't think he's going to allow another play. All over. And Kyle Lear are the seven champions. 3-13 to 3-11 in an excellent game after extra time. And we couldn't ask any more from the Buntlaudi team and panel. Uh, an absolute excellent effort uh, and a credit to themselves and the club. Well, John, what do you think? Oh, it was a great performance all over the field from Buntlaudi. Just unfortunate that, you know, that we lost in the end. It was just hard work. But actually, Kyle Nairn seemed to have a bit of legs in the end, didn't yeah. he, really? You know? I, I, I think we said Josh Martin going off as an awful drawback. I thought he did a great game in the hour. He, 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 like he was creating the overlap and the legs the whole time. And he, he was an awful loss to us. Uh, so we wish Kyle Nearing the very best in senior again. And hopefully we'll be hoping to get back there next year and fight for honours again. But uh, as far as as far as the club and the team and all that effort, uh, it was a, a mighty, a mighty, a mighty effort. On there. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Great, great year of hurling football. Yeah. In a few underage finals and great stuff. Yeah, and in good hands. Yeah. 
So I'd like to thank John and Rory there for their contributions and uh, should we see us all next year uh, and hopefully we'll be able to stream more of the matches live uh, all over the world. Over and out.